Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we're going to be going over camera movement and everything you need to know about it in Roblox Studio, so let's get right into it. So to start off, how you actually need to move the camera and, you know, like, change how, like what it's looking at and stuff. Well, you need to get the current camera of the workspace. So current camera, you need to say... Workspace.current camera. By the way, guys, do this in a local script so you change only the client's uh, camera position and not everybody's, like the server. So you need to have this in a local script. So now there is a thing called camera types. So when you say current camera dot camera type, it's equal to enum dot camera type dot. And you guys can't see this, but if I make it so you can. You can you have all these options of what each one does, right? That is what Roblox provides you with, like the fixed, the fixed um, camera type means that the camera is stationary. Follow, you know what? I'll pull up uh, the, the documentation. Okay, guys. So this is the documentation, and it has all of the. Um, things that Roblox, the camera types that Roblox gives you to manipulate the camera. I will be getting into scriptable in a little bit because scriptable is useful and you guys will see why because you can actually script your own or like, you know, but you can read through all these and each one does a different thing with the camera. So let's put these to practice. So if we pick camera type dot fixed, we then have to set the cameras um camera subject because what the camera subject means it is the thing that the camera is focusing on so what i'm going to do and i'm gonna make a part and i'm just gonna make it red or something and there we go all right so then i'm gonna set the camera subject equals to game dot workspace dot camera or what am i saying part when we then immediately join the game with it being on fixed, that means the camera. What the heck? Uh, I I couldn't get it in time. Game don't work space. Wait for child. I think I have to say parts. So when you do join the game, the camera is fixed on this part, and you can move around and stuff. So yeah. Okay, guys, this is my bad, but I was kind of doing this wrong. You have to set the camera subject and then the camera type um, when you're setting it. So now when we are using these, let's say we're going to use um, maybe just attach. And we click it. What attach does, attach moves the camera with the camera subject at a fixed offset. So with attach, I can only move my camera up and down when this block is moving so yeah I guys I made it so you can uh, um, so the block is moving when we are using this so but I only can use move on um, the on one axis I can't move from left to right and let's say we want watch and we could just keep kind of testing these when we're using watch, I added a weight so like everything could actually fully get loaded in. But when we're using watch, it has the focus on there. Like it's focusing and we also can move around. Now I'm going to test one more. Maybe follow. And uh, you know, you guys can do whatever you want what you guys want in your games. And if we look at this again. It's kind of like the same thing, but... um. It doesn't have that focus on it like watch did but yeah you guys can do whatever you want whatever uh, you think is good by the way if you guys wanted to recreate the code I just make made here it is you're gonna add a add this script up here it is on a server script I recommend that you guys change this to a local script um, but that is because it makes the animation look better so if we run the game again, it is a cleaner animation now. And yeah, so there's those camera types. But now we are going to get into the camera type of scriptable. Scriptable makes it so you can have your own custom movement. 
and attach the camera to whatever you guys want. So, what I mean by this is scriptable. You know, you, you, you code it basically to where you want it to go. Okay, so what that would be is saying the current camera C frame. Because if you guys did watch a, my C frame video, that's changing the position and orientation. So we're saying the C frame of the camera, because in the camera in the workspace, it has its C frame position orientation there. So we can change that. C frame will be equal to, I'm just going to set it to my part in the workspace. We'll be equal to part. So, when we do that, it's going to wait three seconds, my part's moving. And, well, it's stuck. Okay, hold on, guys. I think I screwed something up. Okay, guys, so what you actually have to do, I forgot, but you have to add C-frame onto it to make it work. Because we're ha we have to set a C-frame to a C-frame to make it work. So now, if you do play the game, it will be focused on the red part and it's a position where it was but if you wanted to keep updating this you'd get run service again you don't have to do this this here I'll, I'll just but this is basically saying when we're using a run service event to constantly update it that is the same thing as like the camera types I was just showing you guys so if we move, go to the camera again it moves with the uh, part when it is moving up and down uh, another use of using scriptable um, is to set it to a position in the 3d game space that you can't normally set it with a game sub with the camera subject because with the camera subject you have to set it here wait current camera dot camera subject it has to be an instance. You cannot set it to anything else. So if you're using scriptable, you would then you could say C frame or whoops <laughs> current camera dot C frame. We go to C frame dot new. And let's say ten studs in the sky. I'm I think I can get rid of this weight. When we do that, maybe that's a cause an error. I think you guys, like, you have to have some sort of weight here just to make sure everything loads. Um, so maybe task. Whoops, task dot weight. Maybe about 0.1 seconds. You have to make sure everything's loaded in. I don't think it worked again, so maybe hold on. Okay, guys, so I set my weight to 0 0.6 seconds, which is maybe around the most you can do. But, oh, okay, well, it's not working anymore. After I was just testing it, um, I mean, okay, so we're going to set that to 0 0.7. I just want this to work so everything's loaded in. And there you go. So it's 10 studs up from the origin. So camera, using scriptable, that makes it so you can have precise ones, precise positions with your camera. Instead of having to set a subject and attach your position to a part at, at all times so yeah okay guys so I have some code from the Roblox dev forum that I think is really cool and I want to show you guys so we have a cutscene thing happening here we are first getting the tween service to be able to tween the camera and we're getting the player service we're getting the local player and we're getting the current camera in the workspace okay and then we have a function called play cutscene which is used to you know, just play the cutscene. Should probably just make this local, local function, and then we are passing in the character here when the character joins the game down here and when we are calling it. Again, we are waiting three seconds to make sure everything is loaded in. I got that from the dev form. Keep in mind, so you guys should probably wait until everything loads in. Now I'm getting the primary part of the character, which, if you go play the game and check the primary part of your character, it's the humanoid root part. Now you guys can see the animation there, what happens, but I'm going to keep explaining. Camera type, again, we're setting it to scriptable so we can set it to very precise things. And then we get into a little bit more complex stuff. The base C frame is equal to the primary part C frame, which is the humanoid root parts, position and orientation. We are then timesing it 
by a negative 100 on the z-axis. So as you guys seen, it made it 100 studs away from the player. See, so it is setting it 100 studs from the player. We are also rotating that by an angles, C-frame angles. We are doing that because if we didn't times it by C-frame dot angles, the camera would be behind us. It would be from this perspective and not from this perspective. So we are making it so it is flipping the camera, math.pi, which is 3.14, you know, 159. And we are flipping it on the y-axis so then we can see it from this perspective and not from the back. So that is where we are starting. And then our target is to just get closer to the character. So instead of being 100 studs away, we're going to be 10. So we are moving in 90 studs, and again, we are rotating it so we still see the front of the player. We are then um, setting the camera C-frame to the base so we get it from 100 studs away. We are then tweening the camera, which means slowly moving to our target after two seconds. We're playing it. We're waiting till it is done. We are then setting the camera type back to custom. And the custom camera type, I don't know if I went over this, but the custom camera type is the default thing that Roblox uses. So if you were changing, again, the, the player's camera and you wanted to switch it back, you would set it back to custom because that is the default mode Roblox has set for the camera. And again, we're going to do it again. And it starts from the base and moves tweens toward the target and then sets it back to how it was. So um, that's some code from the dev form that I explained for you guys. Another really cool example, a cutscene that goes in your character just a, a really cool thing you guys can also do in your games. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did like this video you or you guys learned something from this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.